Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Touch, a story by Aburi Chaya Devi. Aburi Chaya Devi wrote this story as Parsha in Telugu. It is translated in English by K. Jai Shri Mohan. Aburi Chaya Devi was one of the earliest feminist writers in Telugu. Her family was extremely orthodox and she took to writing as a means of self-expression. She won the Sahitya Academy Award in 2005. The story traces the relationship between the father and his daughter in orthodox Hindu family. The father is now 80 years old, arid, his daughter is a middle-aged lady. She is a working woman, married to a man of the same town but now residing in another nearby town. The father, who was 80 years old, now had poor eyesight. He was otherwise healthy but was weak due to his poor eyesight. He had lost his grown-up son and left only with his daughters. His wife was also bedridden and his widowed daughter-in-law lived with him. His grandsons were working elsewhere. The daughter had come to visit her father. When the father hears his daughter pulling a chair to sit down, she asks, he asks her to sit beside him on his bed and grips her hand lovingly and tells her that he had been looking forward to her visit. The daughter recalls her childhood days when her father had kept her at a distance in the name of Madi, that is his orthodox way of life. She still feels she hasn't got over and recalls that she was also treated harshly in the name of the diffidence it had created. Her father had been bedridden for two years. She had managed to visit her parents when her husband had come to visit his mother-in-law. Sitting close to her father, she revives her faint memories of her childhood. When he stroked her hands lovingly, her eyes welled up with tears. During her childhood, she had longed for his loving touch, but she was treated harshly. She was still unable to feel free with him. When she had visited him for the first time during his illness, she had picked some bugs. Later, her husband had noticed a bug back home on their bed and had warned her not to sit close to her father. She knew that her father longed for his son. When her brother died, she hesitated to face her father due to some unknown feeling of guilt. Her father pleaded with her that if they moved back to his town, he could perhaps stay with them. She looked at him helplessly, couldn't reassure him with words either. Her father didn't speak again and silently stroked her hands. At that moment, she felt that her education, her job and everything were vain and superficial. While returning home in an auto rickshaw, she was still haunted by her father's tender touch and tears welled up in her eyes. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.